Hey guys, what's up? Do you want a cool text effect? How about something like this? Well, it's pretty easy to do. It just requires a basic knowledge of keyframing and a few other things. Let's get started. Hey guys, what's up? In this tutorial, as promised, I'm going to show you how to do that text effect I showed you in the beginning of the video. Now I have that clip right here in my timeline already, and what I want to do is I want to find the point where my hand comes up into the frame and is all the way open and in position. And it's right there for me. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control Shift Q, which will create another video track. And then ever so carefully, I'm going to go into Media Generators, Text, I'm just going to drag in the sample text. Nothing fancy, just regular text. Now, in my text box, I want to type in Sony Vegas. But you could type whatever you want. Just make sure whatever it is is big enough that you can do your full wipe. And I'm going to bring my size down and I'm going to change the placement and make sure your ass your last letter lines up with your hand right here so see how it's lined up okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to close this and we're going to go into our event pan craft window and I'm going to change this to mask. I'm going to zoom in here. And with my pen tool, I'm going to draw a nice big mask all the way around the word, leaving enough pad on both sides. So now I'm going to change the mode though to a negative. By default, they become positive, so only the text shows and everything else is there but because it's transparent we're not going to be able to notice so just a negative mask once the negative mask has been established what we're going to do is with our timeline I'm going to bring it over a couple frames and then I'm going to drag this whole thing over until this thing lines right back up Again, a couple more frames. Drag this thing over. Make sure it does not become ahead of my hand. Remember, your hand is the thing that is controlling the transition. So as long as everything stays within my hand, and there it is. And then I'm just going to move this a couple frames more. Now, right here, we're going to change over to position. And I'm going to move it down a little. Down a little bit. Center that up just a tiny bit. And now we're going to move it down. So using your up arrow key, just move it down. arrow key moves the text right down there now you can see my hand comes back up so up and I'm gonna bring it over just a little bit so it stays in my hand and there it is so that's pretty much it. Now when I put the whole thing together for you, it looks like this. And it looks like my hand created the transition. It's a very simple effect, very easy. Now I will say, you need to be able to mask um, in the way we did it, because that's where you get the full keyframe. 
The other way you could probably do it, and I've never actually tried it, is with Mask Generator. You could try it. The easiest way I do it is with the masks right in Event Painter Crop. This way I get a very nice fluid motion that looks like my hand is creating this white effect. Now if I were to play this for you guys, So you can see it's pretty nice and smooth. So that's it for this tutorial. I will see you guys in the next video.